This is Burnt Toast with your Minute, minute. of Lulz Cow. This week, Shannon and Rev revealed that they are now broke, have been on welfare for a while, have EBT cards, and are about to get evicted from their very expensive apartment. We're dealing with two white rich people compared to one poor black man. Mmm, okay, now who's the stereotype? At some point, they thought it was a good idea to fake a robbery. Oh, hell no! To dive more deeply into what happened, watch the video that I posted going through all the details. And this is where it gets kind of dicey. They started e-begging, and I mean like really laying it on thick, collecting hundreds of dollars in donations to replace the key fobs that supposedly somebody stole. However, just a couple of hours later, they suddenly and surprisingly find the fobs behind a shelf. Multiple people started requesting a refund on their cash app, but their requests were denied. I have three comments to make on this. The first thing is, I find it very odd about the timing of the supposed robbery. They did it on the very day that the vast majority of Americans were getting their stimulus check. Two, after this horrific robbery supposedly took place, their first knee-jerk reaction was not to call the insurance company or police. No, their first reaction was to e-bag on the internet before they even knew how much things were going to cost. And finally, any suggestion by their audience to downsize their apartment, get jobs, live within their means, was met with disdain and excuses. In my opinion, they either have money that they haven't told anybody about, or they have their heads stuck so far in the sand, and they are so entitled, they think that they're immune to things like homelessness, eviction. It's definitely, folks, gonna be an interesting summer. And that was your Minute of Lulz Cow.